We're talking about love. love. Where are we reading from today, Jonathan? Today we're reading from the book of Matthew. And we would like you guys to join us in this reading. Yeah, chapter 5 in the Bible. So Jesus, this is a little bit after he just started preaching. Uh, um, and he's up on this mountainside with this crowd that he's preaching to. Here's what he says. You've heard it was said, an eye for an eye and tooth for tooth. But I tell you, do not resist an evil person. This is Jesus. That's hard. Do not resist an evil person. What does he mean by that? I'll tell you. If someone strikes you on the right cheek, turn to him the other cheek also. And if someone wants to sue you and take your tunic, let him have your cloak as well. If someone wants to take your shirt, give him your jacket. Mm. If someone forces you to go one mile, forces, they didn't ask politely, <laughs> or they asked, but it was like the mob. You know, like, <laughs> we would like, we would request that you would kindly come to me. <laughs> They're forcing you. If someone forces you to go one mile, go with him two miles. Give to the one who asks you, and do not turn away from the one who wants to borrow from you. We said we were talking about love today, right? Yes. So, that doesn't really sound like any kind of not love that we my understand. My ideal thought of when I right. said love, you know? Right. Hearts and yeah. <laughs> sweet music and somewhat yeah. smooth. It's, um... Definitely not your definition of love no. by the world standards. No. Cultures, you know. Yeah. Totally going against what culture says to do. But he doesn't, in those situations. He doesn't leave us hanging. No. Fortunately, uh, Jesus is up on this mountain. He tells them, "Don't resist an evil person." And this is what that looks like. If they strike your right cheek, give them the other cheek. If they take your shirt, give them their jacket. If they force you to go one mile, go two with mm -hmm. them. Uh, give to the one who asks of you. Okay. Then he, then he immediately says, You have heard it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. Who said that? His people are telling him. You know, well, told. love your neighbor is Leviticus. Yeah, 19. Leviticus. It's, yeah. But he's saying like, like, yeah, this is something everyone knows. He's like, you've heard it. Like, yeah, okay. love your neighbor. Hate your enemy, you know, like, yeah. Go to war Don't with those people, yeah. You're okay. not with me, you know. Okay. That's a good question. Yeah, I was just curious. He says, you've heard it said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy, but I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be sons of the Father in heaven. This is interesting because he doesn't just say, love your enemies and that's it he says love your enemies and pray which is an active thing yeah that's like an, it's a verb like pray the bible says pray continually we know that in hebrews 5 jesus prayed every day like with with loud cries and tears you know he meant it mm -hmm. you know so he's saying here Pray for them. So that's important because he's telling us to love. And, and the question is like, what does that look like? What does love look like? Okay, he's saying, one, don't respond back in revenge. Okay, vengeance okay. is the Lord. Now he's saying, two, he's saying, pray. Okay, so we're loving and we're praying. Gotcha. That you may be sons of your Father in heaven. So that's a nice little perk, you know. Nice we belong to the Lord, yeah, yeah. We're behaving like Him. So He says, He, the Father, He causes His Son to rise on the evil and the good, and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. Like, tomorrow's going to come for everyone. The Lord allows that for everyone. If you love those who love you, 
what reward will you get? Are not even the tax collectors doing that? I mean, they're considered really okay. not nice guys in that time in that part of the world in the Bible. Yeah, if you were a tax collector, it's like this is, you know, like you're toiling your mustache type villain. So if, if you love, uh, like even the tax collectors love people who love them, he says, verse 47, and if you greet only your brothers, what are you doing more than others? And this goes for any posse, any sect, any church, any clique, Christians. If you hang out with a bunch of Christians, Jesus is talking to you and saying, so what? He's actually saying, so what? So you hang out with a bunch of Christians. Cool, I guess. And here's what he says next. Don't the pagans do that? That's his next sentence. Do not even the pagans do that? Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. Okay, and I've heard a lot of people take this and speak in different surfaces and say, well, perfect, let's, let's be careful, you know, like, he doesn't really mean perfect, we can't be perfect. But Jesus is actually saying, no, be perfect. perfect. Yeah. And, and, and he's saying, your definition of perfect is not mine, I'm God. He's saying, here's what love looks like, here's a new definition. Here's what perfection looks like, here's a new definition. When it be like the Father who's perfect, here's how that looks. You love people by not acting out in a hateful way back to a person who acts out in a dismissive or hateful way to you. Oh, you yawned. I can't help it. Tired? It's late. <laughs> <laughs> or he also says, it was cute. He also says, give to people who are trying to take from you. He also says, Pray for people who are not being nice to you and not against them. Like, you're praying, you want the Lord to bless them. You want good for them. You know, the Lord doesn't want anything bad for anyone. And then he says, listen, if you're only doing this stuff for your friends and your brothers and people who say that they're for you, uh, big deal. So, Everybody else in the world is doing that. Yeah. <laughs> so. That's Matthew 5. It's an extra step. Yeah. That's the eye for an eye lesson. It's good. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's the end of this reading. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you guys next time. Yeah. Subscribe, follow, like. If, if you dig it, share. Also, we're on Late Watch. We're at Late Watch uh, um, on Instagram. We're yes. at Late Watch on Twitter. We're Late Watch Project on Facebook. Yeah. Good. See you guys. Bye.